Some of your favorite summer things. You like swimming, you like the beach, you like surfing, you like ice cream. I love popping Sue. I also love to come here to the studio. And we have got a great show prepared for you. Are you guys ready? Yeah! And where are you from? Oh, Elementary School! The 128th Challenger of Super Kids is Seoul Gwangnam Elementary School. There is a very special class here at Gwangnam Elementary. It's the math class that is taught in English. The kids can learn math and English at the same time. Physical education is important too so that the students grow up to be strong and healthy. In the spacious gym, the children learn about teamwork through various sports. Of course, reading is also a favorite pastime for the students here. The library is very popular. Students of Kwangnam Elementary are cheerful and hardworking. Now is the time to show us what you are made of. 안녕하세요. 오늘 아르랑 TV 슈퍼 퀴즈에 참가한 우리 강남 어린이 여러분 축하드립니다. 우리 강남 어린이들은 평소 나도 하면 잘할 수 있다고 하는 자긍심 아래 오늘 발휘해 주시면 되겠습니다. 우리 강남 어린이. Let's go! This is one of the more refreshing rounds on our summer. I guess it's not necessarily a special because every Super Kids is a special episode. But in the summer season, we have to have something refreshing. And I happen to believe this is the most refreshing round. It goes by fast, it's worth points, and of the four teams, two must move on, two move to the side. These four teams randomly choose their categories. Would you like to know what possible categories there are? There's more than four, there are six. White things, pears, computer, hands, mountain, Olympics. Very exciting. Okay, let's meet our very first excited uh, contestant and team. How are you doing? Uh, fine. Okay, you enjoying summer? Yes. Excellent. Let's look at the letters. What's your choice? Mm, C. C. The Olympics. <sighs> Do you like sports? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, think for a second. Think about Olympics and get ready. Let's go. A prize given to the first place winners. Uh, gold medal. Okay. The host city of the 2008 Olympics. China. The founder of the modern Olympics. <laughs> this represents each country. It is lit and kept burning throughout the Olympic Games. National flag. This person is a famous Korean swimmer. Park Day One. The first Olympics was held in this country. Greece. This is where soccer games are held. Oh, uh, field. 42.195 kilometers. What a long way to run. Marathon. The short form of the International Olympic Committee. Oh. Yeah, good. That is the IOC. Remember, 
it's very refreshing because it goes by so fast. And of course, quantity is important and quality is important. They got a quality, let's see, six points, not bad. Let's go to the next team. All right, let's meet our second exciting team. How are you, sir? I'm good. Okay, let's get right into it. See the letters? E. E. Hands. Okay, you seem to be thinking for a second. When you think of hands, what comes to mind? Gloves. Gloves. Anything else? Oh, uh, I'm so nervous. Okay, breathe in, breathe out. Let's go to hands, come on. A small clock you wear on your wrist. Watch. You use this to cleanse your hands. Mm, clap. You wear this accessory on your finger. Mm, ring. These keep your hands warm in the winter. Gloves. This finger means number one. Thumb. You can manicure this part of your hands. Nail. When you hit your hands together. Clap. You make your hand into a round ball. Fingerprint. You press the black and white keys to play this instrument. Oh. Piano. You hold this in your hand when you play tennis. Uh, uh, racket. These lines on the skin are different for every person. Fingerprint. A small bag that a woman uses to carry things. Handbag. You use this to cleanse your hands. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Yes, you use it to cleanse your hands. It is soap. Great job, guys. Not perfect score, but very high. It's a 10. Excellent. Let's have the next team come on out. All right, hands. Obviously, they did a very good job. Let's see if our next team does a good job, too. Hi, how are you? Fine. And how are you spending your summer? Swimming. Doing some swimming? Yeah. Very refreshing. Maybe more refreshing than our 60 seconds here. <laughs> okay, let's see our letters. Uh, F. Pears. Pears. So what comes to mind when you think of pears? Gloves. Gloves. Um, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm sure the rest of the team is thinking about it. Guys, think of pears. And let's go to pears. You eat noodles with these. Chopsticks. You put these on your ears. Earring. The parts of your body with which you see. Eyes. You wear these on your feet, not shoes. Socks. Two children are born at the same time. Twins. Birds fly with these. Rings. These keep your hands warm in the winter. Gloves. A bicycle moves with these two round things. Wheels. You play the drum with a pair of these. Sticks. This tool is used for cutting paper. Scissors. Summer footwear. Sandals. You have to wear these if you have bad eyesight. Glasses. These keep your hands warm in the winter. Mittens. Oh yeah! <laughs> Now, that's a perfect score. These guys know their pairs. 12 points for them. Let's meet our last team. Awesome job. Good job, guys. That was great. They seem to get better and better. Six, 10, 12 points. What's next? Is there anything higher than 12? No. So, what will the last team do? How you doing? Hi. You want to make a prediction how many points you'll get? 11. 11, okay. Let's see the letters. B. B. Computer. You have a computer at home? Just yes. one? No. How many? Two. Two, okay. In our house, there's like 18. <laughs> None of them work, but at least we got some. Okay, so when you think of computer, what comes to mind? Internet. Internet. That may come up. Let's go to computer. The screen that you look at. Monitor. A letter that you send through the internet. Keyboard. 
A website with personal information and pictures. Email. It connects computers all over the world. You press this to write on computers. Keyboard. This moves the cursor around the screen. Mouse. A small portable computer. Uh, notebook. Tetris and StarCraft are kinds of this. Software? The short form for World Wide Web. WWW. Computer programs, the opposite of hardware. Software. You use this to put information onto paper. Printer. A computer cannot work properly when this gets into it. Virus. A letter that you send through the internet. Email. Good. That's right. Email. Okay, well, it was not 11, it was 8, which is not bad. And let's go to the next round. Little one on one time. The team thing is done and it's one on one. So these 20 will do battle for 10 spots. Hopefully they've all done their homework. Yes, yes, yes. I know you guys love to read and that's why you gave, were given something in advance to read. Usually when I ask, do you have any hobby? What do you like to do in your free time? The most common answer is reading books. That is fabulous. I love it. I'm a dad. I have my kids read all the time. I'm a teacher. I have my students read all the time. I love to read all the time. It's wonderful. But when I ask you today, do you have a hobby? Please don't say I like to read books. I want to hear something else, something new. What book, what person, what did they study, what did they study in advance? Check it out. Anne is a red-haired girl with a wonderful imagination and loves to chat. After joining her new family, she makes everyone around her happy. Her life may seem ordinary, but it's filled with many warm and joyful events. Let's read Anne of Green Gables by Lucy M. Montgomery. Anne of Green Gables, that's what they studied. That's what they read. Hopefully they're ready. Let's have two contestants come on out. All right, number one, what do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I like to play games. Play games, okay. Play games. How about you, number 11? I like to watch movies. Watch movies, cool. Do you have a favorite movie or a movie you recommend? I like the Narnia. Narnia? Yes. Chronicles of Narnia, okay. More coming out in the future. Right now, this question is coming out to you. When Anne first met Marilla, she asked her to call her by this name instead of Anne. What name was it? Number 11. Uh, Cordelia. Cordelia! Yes! Very good. Okay, good job. Yes, yeah, sometimes it is the speed. I heard those buzzers go down almost at the same time. Obviously one a teeny bit faster. Two contestants, please, come on out. Okay. Point number two, what do you like to do with your parents? Um, just sleeping with them. Yeah, nighttime, mm. go to bed, relax. Mm -hmm. The studies are over, that's cool. Mm. How about you, number 12? Uh, I like talking with them. Just talking. Could yes. be around the dinner table, could be outside. Great. Two wonderful things. Spending time with mom and dad. All right, spend time with this question. Where was Anne before she came to the house of Green Gables? Number 12. Orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. The next two, please, come on out. 
The story took place on Prince Edward Island. In which country is it? Canada. Number three. Canada. Yeah. Gilbert made fun of Anne's hair by saying it looked. Number four. Carrots. Yep. You got it. Anne invited Diana to tea and gave her this drink. Yes, number 15. Wine. Dyed her hair. Number six. Green. Wow! Marilla invited Mr. and Mrs. Allen over, and Anne made this especially for Mrs. Allen. Number Cake. 17. Wow! Gave an address with number eight. Miss you. Yeah, Matthew is right. Now, I know we're still working on the elimination thing from 20 to 10. That's our mission right now, but I'm already thinking ahead to the next round, which is help. In that round, the 30 people sitting on the side will, of course, um, have a chance to come back. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be competitive because it's not about how fast you push the buzzer down. These guys know the answer. They're very, very bright. Okay, two more bright people, please. Come on out. <laughs> Number nine, this summer vacation. What is like the thing, the one thing you'd really like to do? Uh, I like to go swimming. Swimming. Maybe more than once. Okay, 19, how about you? Is there some summer goal you have? Uh, yes. Um, uh, go swimming, same thing. Swimming. Okay, sounds like swimming is the big goal this summer. Let's go swimming in this question. Gilbert gave up a teaching position at this school for Anne. What was the name of that school? The name of the school. Number Prince 19. Edward. One more time, please. Prince Edward. Your chance, number nine. If you know it, press the buzzer down. Yes. Avon Lee. Correct. That is right. Okay, two more. Come on out. Number 10, do you have a favorite sport? Uh, soccer. And do you have a favorite position? Midfield. Midfield, all right, so you do a lot of running. All right, how about you, 20? Um, basketball. Basketball, are you pretty good? Not really. Yeah, neither am I. I just run around, get the ball, and pass it to my friends. All right, well, here is your question. As they graduated from Queens, Gilbert. Number 10. Avery Scholarship. Wow. That's right. Excellent job. I don't remember. Did we read any question from beginning to end? These guys are fast, really fast. Like I said, we did it from 20 to 10. That's great. But in the next round, we're going to give 30 folks an opportunity. Four can move back. That's going to be some serious competition. Would you like to see it? Would you like to check it out? Let's go. The 10 folks sitting on the side are very bright and they're very fast. 
Now I know a lot of these folks here sitting on the ground are very, very bright, not as quick with the fingers. We have had in the past folks from the help corner, those four that move on, someone has made it to the super kid spot. So I have no doubt that uh, something exciting is going to happen. Some serious competition now. And the first question, well, all the questions will be read by Tommy. Hello, Isaac. Yes, all the questions will be read by me. And I hope that the four winners out of 30, maybe, you know, something exciting might happen. And just like Isaac said, there might be a super kid. Okay, well, listen carefully to this question. This occurs when smoke and other harmful things come together in the air. It can look like fog. In 1872, it killed 243 people in London. What is it? Once you write it down, turn your board over. It occurs when smoke and other harmful things come together in the air. It can look like fog. Raise your board after five, four, three, two, one. Let's see it. Let's see all those boards. And keep them up. The answer is smog. Keep the boards up. Okay, so for this question, before I read it, I want you to take some time and think of your favorite animal, because it might become the answer for this question. Now, this dangerous animal looks like a small lobster. It has the poisonous stinger at the end of its tail and lives well in deserts. What is it? Lives well in deserts. Looks like a small lobster, but you probably don't want to eat it. Five, four, three, two, one. Please raise your boards. Raise them high, raise them high. Super high, as high as you can. They're scary, they're dangerous, they got that poisonous tail. Oh yes, the answer is... Scorpion! Okay, for this question is a math question. So while I'm reading the question, it might be a good time to take down some notes, okay? All right, perk up your ears. Now, Isaac can run 700 meters or walk 300 meters in one minute. If he ran for three minutes and walked for 40 seconds, how far would he have gone? I will repeat it. I can run 700 meters in a minute or I can walk 300 meters in one minute. If I ran for three minutes, walked for 40 seconds, how far did I go? Hide your answer, hide your answer. If you wrote it down, hide it. Five, four, three, Two, one, raise your boards. Let's see those answers. The correct answer is 2300 meters, 2300, 2300. These four are back in the game. They're back in the race. How far will they go? We don't know, but we know for sure they will absolutely join the other 10. In the next round, 14 will go to five. It's gonna be exciting. Thanks so much, Tommy, for your help. You're welcome, Isaac, and congratulations to the two ladies and the two gents. I wish you the best of luck for the rest of the round and the rest of the game, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the next round.
will be attacked. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will be attacked with hints, with facts. Please don't panic. Press your button faster than anybody else, and you might have the right answer. Most of these have four hints that are connected, four words hinted, four concepts that are connected to one answer. When you hear the first one, something else might come to mind. Don't get too hasty. Sometimes the speed backfires and you have to wait until everybody else hears all the hints. Here is our first question. First hint, remember, of E14, only five can move on. Let's go. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Icarus. Pegasus. Tinker Bell. Number eight. Getting the mic to you. Hang on a second. Your answer is? Peter Pan. Number 10. Fairy. Fairy. All right, number four, hang on a second. We'll get the mic to you. Your answer is? Wings. Yes, it is. Very good job. Yeah. Icarus wanted to fly. Pegasus, of course, the horse with wings. Tinkerbell had wings, of course, and dragonfly. How many wings? A lot. And you see them a lot in summer. That's how it's done. Connect them and you might get the right answer. One person filling one of five spots. Next question. What has something to do with the following words? New York. 192 nations. Peace. Number six. Hang on a sec. We'll get the mic to you. All righty. And your answer is? Statue of Liberty. One more time, please. Statue of Liberty. Number 10. Your answer is? UN. Yeah. Headquarters in New York, a lot of nations are part of it, of course, standing for peace. There's actually that dove with the thing in its mouth and the pangi moon, which was the hint not given, is the head. Amazing gentleman. A lot of folks inspired because of him want to be diplomats. All right, here is our next question. What has something to do with the following words? Persia. Film Festival Aladdin Okay, number 30 on the end there. Hang on a second. We'll get the mic to you. Your answer is... Arabia Night Number 8 Gold No, number 26 Carpet Carpet. Yeah, carpet. <laughs> Very good. Three spill, three filled, <laughs> two to go. Of course, the carpet's very famous at the film festival, red carpet. Persia's where a lot of carpets are made. And of course, um, we don't have a carpet here, but in the story Aladdin, he rode the magic flying carpet. Let's have another question, please. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Club. Gallery. Number 27. Your answer is? Golf. Yeah, good one. Very good. I don't know if I could have gotten it with two hints, but yes, club and gallery, the folks that you know gather around the audience during a tournament that watch, the gallery. Okay, four spots filled. One to go. Here is our final question. What has something to do with the following words? 
Olympics. Prometheus. Volcano. Camp. Number nine. And your answer. Fire. Yes, fire is right. We finally have a little fire among the five. Here's the Olympics Olympic torch. Prometheus gave fire to the humans. Volcano fire and a camp, campfire. It's always great in the summertime. Well, finally a lady has joined the gentleman in a final five dominated by the men, but uh, we'll see what happens. You never know what's gonna happen. Shall we find out? Let's go. find a champion, a school champion of Seoul Kwangnam Elementary School. We have five great minds, five powerful brains that have made it thus far. Great job to you guys. Kudos. And for that, you get 100 points each. For every answer you answer correctly, you can get 10, 20, or 30 points. And if you use your chance, your double chance, you can double the value. Of course, you have to let us know in advance what category you're going for. We have a bunch of categories. But before we go to the categories, before we even look at them, please look in detail at our contestants. Five amazing people, right? Okay, now let's look at the board. Now, the categories are often the same. Sometimes they're different, but the questions are always different. Who am I? Often a favorite for the 30 point double chance. Always different. I like Super Korea. Sometimes it's easier in a 10 point category. Sometimes it's more difficult in a 20 point category. Obviously, the easier questions are for 10 points. More difficult and more difficult. Okay, let's begin with a 10-point history question. On August 9, 1936, Son Ki-jong won the gold medal in the marathon at the Berlin Olympics, and after 56 years, this Korean athlete won another gold medal in the marathon at the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Number 10. Hwang Youngjo. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to be a marathon runner, of course, a lot of practice is necessary. A lot of liquids are necessary, even eating. And I heard you, number 10, like to eat. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, I like kimchi jjigae. Kimchi jjigae. Oh, that's delicious. Have a bowl of that and you can run a, about 10 marathons. Okay, 10 points for you. What's your choice of a category? Uh, Super Korea. Super Korea, 10 more points. Let's go to Super Korea. Hello, Super Kids. Today, I'm at an exhibition called The Treasures of Paleontology from Russia. There are extinct animals, including dinosaurs. Let's go on a trip back in time to 4.6 billion years ago. The Russian Museum is one of the top three natural museums in the world. So it's a great chance to check out the best of the world famous exhibit from Russia. One of the most popular things was the mammoth. 
This is the only fossil that is made up of a whole family of mammoths. There are six mammoths altogether, so you can see how they change as they age. This is one of the only three baby mammoths in the whole world. Baby mammoth Thema, preserved in ice, is from 40,000 years ago. You can check out the replica of Dima to get a closer look at mammoths. There are different kinds of fossils from the Paleozoic era, the Mesozoic era, and the Ice Ages to see all sorts of living things in 4.6 billion years of natural history. As well as the 20 or so dinosaur fossils, you can see Estamenosuchus, which is considered to be an ancestor of mammals. Now, are you ready for the question? This dinosaur was up to six meters tall and had a fairly large head compared to its body. It hunted other animals using its strong jaws and big, sharp teeth. It usually walked on its hind legs as they were much stronger than its front legs. What kind of dinosaur was it? Number four. Tyrannosaurus. Yeah. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus rex. Guess it had uh, front legs, not as strong as the rear ones, but it ate a lot of meat, ate a lot of other dinosaurs. Very good. Ten points for you. And I heard that you like sports. Do you have a favorite? Uh, basketball. Basketball. You seem like a pretty tall guy. Are you good at shooting or passing? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, maybe both. What's your choice of a category? Uh, island. Island, right in the middle. It's kind of an island surrounded by other questions for 20 points. The Philippines is a country located in Southeast Asia. It is made up of 7,107 beautiful islands of different sizes. From the following islands, choose the ones that belong to the Philippines. Remember, there may be more than one. Boracay, Hawaii, Bali, Cebu, Penang. Number nine. Cebu. Cebu. Number 27. Boracay and Cebu. Boracay and Cebu, is that right? Yes, it is. Very good job. Very good job. Of course, uh, that was worth 20 points. And now, number 27, you are in the lead. Uh, I heard you like sports too. Yes. What kind of sports do you like? I like same as basketball. Basketball. Only basketball? <laughs> Lots of sports. Lots of sports. All right, Mr. Sportsman, please choose a category. Sports. All right, that makes sense. Let's go to sports. <laughs> Young men in Vanatou, located in the South Pacific Ocean, jump from tall platforms as a test of courage. Today, people jump from a bridge or the top of a valley to just enjoy the thrill of it. Number four. Buns jump. Yeah. That's bungee jumping. I have never done it. Um, I might someday, but I don't like that kind of thrill. <laughs> I guess a long time ago in the South Pacific Ocean, in this area in uh, Venatuo, the guys would actually jump as a test of courage. A lot of cultures have tests of courage, go out and sleep with the lions, go out and eat ants, whatever. But jumping off was originally uh, not a sport, but a test of courage. Very good. You have 120 points. Let's look real quick at the scoreboard. Low scores and very similar. Very similar skills. Right now, number four has 120 points. Tied in the lead. Number nine, 100. 
Number 10, 110. And number 26, 100 as well. 27, 120. All very, very closely lumped. We've got two 20 point questions and three 30 point questions as well. No individual has used their chance yet. So, number four, your choice. Uh, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? The first 30 point question. Anybody want to go for it? Number four is going for it. Number nine is going for it. Number 26. For you three, this is a possible 60 point question. For number 10 and 27, 30 points. Who am I? Who am I? I have no wings, but I can fly. When I get angry, I can become loud. Number 10. Cloud? No, it's not cloud. Let's hear some more hints. You can make me with your mouth and hands. Number four. Sounds. Is it sounds? If it is, it's... No, it's not. Another hint awaits you. People like to be with me in the summer, but not in the winter. Number 27. Wind. Wind? If he's right, it's worth 30. Is it wind? Good job. I was trying to spit there, but I might have given you a hint there with wind. You can spit or do other things with your mouth, but with your hands, you can't make water. Wind, you can. Oh, nice. Can you clap with one hand? If you're a freak, maybe. Okay, 150 for you, sportsman, and your choice. I'll choose Super Christian. Super Question. All right, 20 points. Let's go to the Super Question. Who's going to give it? Super Kids. 친구 여러분, 안녕하세요, 알렉스입니다. 아 이렇게 만나게 돼서 너무 너무 반갑고요. 오늘은 우리 슈퍼키즈 친구들을 위해서 슈퍼 퀘스천 제가 준비를 하나 했거든요. 자 이번 문제 우리 평소에 영화나 음악에 관심이 많던 친구들은 금방 맞힐 수 있을 것 같아요. 자 그럼 슈퍼키즈 친구들 모두 잘 듣고 꼭 맞추시기 바랍니다. 자 이것은요 영화나 드라마에 삽입이 돼서 극의 분위기나 내용을 더욱 돋보이게 만들어주는 음악을 말합니다. 아, 최근에는 많은 가수들이 인기 드라마에 어, 이것에 참여하기도 했죠. 저 역시 드라마 내 이름은 김삼순의 이것에 참여를 해서 노래를 부른 적이 있습니다. 이것은 무엇일까요? Number 10. OST. He says OST. Is that correct? Yeah. Did you eat some kimchi jjigae today? No, okay. Well, uh, do you know what OST stands for? Original soundtrack. Original soundtrack, very good. No extra points for that, but that's what it stands for. Excellent job. Thank you very much, Alex. We appreciate it, and we love your music. Okay, so 130 for you. What's the next category? Uh, numbers. Numbers for 20 points. Get ready to count. The following pie graph shows the different types of vehicles in Isaac's neighborhood parking lot. If the total number of vehicles is 300, how many buses are there? Now, there's a lot of vehicles in my neighborhood parking lot. A lot. Mostly buses. <gasps> Number 10. 75. Says 75. Is that correct? No. Number 27. 125. He says 125. He's in lead right now. Is that correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Junsuk, do you live in the same neighborhood? Because there's a lot of buses in there. Have you counted the buses? 
No, you work with the graph. He's a smart guy. Excellent job right now, 170 points. Still, two 30-point questions. A few folks have not used their chance yet, so we'll see what happens. Number 27. I'll choose sayings. Sayings, not easy. Anybody want to go for it? No? Sayings for 30 points. The following sayings all have this word in common. What word goes in all the blanks? Credit is better than blank. Kill not the goose that lays the blank. Number four. Gold. He says gold. If it's right, it's 30 points for him. Is that correct? Yeah. It is. Good job. Great. Credit is better than gold. Gold's good, but credit, better, supposedly. Kill not the goose that lays the golden egg. There's that story, I want more, I want more. And then, all is not gold that glitters. Okay, gold is correct. We have one more question left. One, or 30 points, or 60 for those who use their chance. What's the category? It's arts. Anybody want to go for it? Who did not use it? Number 10. Number 27. All right, two gentlemen, for you, possible 60 points. For the rest, 30, the category, the arts. You are looking at the painting called The Girl with the Pearl Earring by Vermeer. The girl is wearing a turban on her head. The turban was brought into the country when they had trading with India. In the 17th century, this country set up the East India Company and the West. Number four. England. Is it England? If it is, that would make him the school champion because he'd get 30 points added to the 150. Is England the right answer? Oh, that's not right. Number 27. Spain. He says Spain. Once again, he's in the lead. You have another 60 added to it, claiming clearly the school champion spot. Is that right? Buzzer down. It's open. Number 10. The United States of America. Nope. Philippines. 26, you want to try? Everybody's just guessing, so we've got nothing to lose. Five seconds. Okay, so I guess I gotta give the answer. The answer is the Netherlands. The Netherlands was once the trading capital of the world. Very, very famous because they had lots of money. They commissioned a lot of art. So a lot of fabulous art came from the Netherlands. Now, nobody got that 30-point question, so take those chances down. And it looks like the person who was leading up to that question, number 27, Jun Sok, our sportsman, is indeed our school champion. Congratulations! Champion, my friends. That's right, you're the last man standing. Great job so far. What was the most challenging part of our show? Uh, not a lot, but I was hungry. <laughs> it wasn't intellectually challenging, just waiting and enduring and not eating. Okay, well, we know you like sports. You like uh, basketball. What other sports do you like? I like soccer. Soccer. Anything else? Those are the main ones? Yes. Okay. And this summer, any super duper special plans? I'm in some vacation. I'm going to Germany where my aunt, aunt is. 
Excellent, awesome, okay. Well, she may be watching right now. You wanna look in the camera and say hi to your aunt? Right here. Tell her hi. Hello. All right, so you are ready? Yes. Okay, he's ready. Hi, Auntie. And um, what you gotta do is you have to come up with a master word. It sounds simple, but it's actually quite challenging. You're gonna go through, navigate through a crossword puzzle. The more answers you get, obviously, the more letters appear in that master word. At the very end, I will give you two words, two hints connected to that master word, which hopefully will make sense. If you get the first letter via the crossword puzzle, that will help you a lot. Okay, now we have three crossword puzzles prepared. And there are letters connected to those crossword puzzles. Here they are. J, B, and F. What's your choice? B. B, right in the middle. Okay, now one last thing. If you get stumped, you hear the hint and you don't know the answer, say pass, that's fine, but that eats five seconds off the clock. You ready? Yes. Good luck. In baseball, players hit Bad. balls with this. The Netherlands is famous for this flower. Tulips. Tulip. You watch clowns and animal shows in a big tent. Pass. This person took away the Little Mermaid's voice. Pass. Chonan is famous for a small round cake made with this. Pass. Your father's brother. Uncle. Birds are covered with these. Feathers. An animal kept in your home. Pet. A pink or white summer fruit. Pass. Okay, now you did not get the final, final letter. That's okay. That's okay, you did a great job, really good job. Um, the key now is to get the master word Given that you have the first letter, it should help a little bit. It should help. Would you like to hear that first word? Yes. First hint, here we go. It is communication. Communication. There's that T and an L there. You didn't get that other letter, but it's related to communication and also number. Number. So, the master word, you need to figure it out. Related to communication and number, you have T and an L. Do you know the answer? I need to hear an answer very, very soon. I will soon give you five seconds, and I need you to throw something out to me. If it's right, you are today's super kid, if not still the school champion, an awesome job. Do you have an idea what that master word is related to communication and number? Begins with the letter T. Gotta tell me before the end of five seconds. Teletory. One more time, please. Teletory. Teletory sounds I like an interesting kids show with colorful characters. Is that the right answer? If it is, he's the school champion and the super kid today. If not, just the school champion. Is that the right answer? No, it's telephone. Great job. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause, huh? The school champion. Yeah. So, have a great trip to Germany. You said hi to your aunt. Want to say hi to your aunt one more time? Hi, hi auntie and your mom and dad and friends. Okay, you guys have a fun time? Yeah! All right.
Thank you for joining us. Have an awesome day and an awesome week. We'll see you next week with another episode of Super Kids. Bye-bye! Introducing our prizes for the winners. The Super Kid will receive a notebook computer. The school champion receives a digital camera, while second to fifth place will receive an MP3 player. All contestants will receive a gift certificate from Super Kids. <laughs> okay. Well, I think no. Like I said, we did it. I don't know if I could have gotten it. Number 26. Will you guess if it's a ring? Okay, so how did you just make this crazy? with another episode of Super Kids Bye Bye!